A sensation of heaviness in the body is a very common consequence of the modern lifestyle. If you experience a heavy sensation in the body, Chinese medicine may be able to help you. In this video, we're going to see the causes and the mechanism for body heaviness, and we'll see different ways to manage the situation. First, let's address the elephant in the room. A sensation of feeling heavy in the body is not directly associated with being heavy or being overweight. So there is a distinction. Uh, some skinny people, we we'll see in the clinic, some skinny people can experience this heavy sensation in the body. And uh, some people with a very large body do not experience heavy feeling at all. So what does this, how is it explained exactly in Chinese medicine? We explain this heaviness in the body uh, by what we call dumbness, which is really um, a metabolic garbage stagnating in the body. So where does the dumbness come from? Well, we explain in Chinese medicine this dumbness by mainly excessive diets. So it will be products such as cheese or milk chocolate or sweets or eggplant, pork, ice cream is a very common one, alcohol as well and all these deep fried food and also processed food in general so all these all these food tend to produce dampness in the body the the dampness stagnation in the body is also associated with gluten type of food also with a sedentary lifestyle and with a lack of exercise finally stress can also inhibit the metabolism and therefore lead to the condition necessary to the uh, production of dampness in the body so how do you know if you have dampness in the body? Well, people who have dampness will experience bloating, fatigue, a foggy mind, a lack of attention, a lack of motivation as well. They may also have joint pain and they may have eczema as well, it happens. Uh, but the main specific uh, sign to see if you have dampness or not, if you check on your tongue. So you can see here on this picture, this is a, a normal tongue so there is a coating um, on, so a thin layer on the tongue, which is very thin and white and transparent really. So this is a normal coating, it's, it's supposed to be like this. On this picture though, you will see a very greasy, um, a very thick coating. So this is a strong sign of dampness in the body. So what can we do to get rid of this dampness? Well, first of all is to be avoid um, any damp producing food. So all the ones we mentioned before, the cheese, ice cream, and pork meat, etc., etc. And we'll also ha have to avoid any um, food that is cold in nature, such as milk, uh, raw fruits, and also uncooked green veggies. Um, so it might seem a bit, um, a bit weird, but actually these products, are, they tend to damage uh, the metabolism because they are too cold in nature. Um, so they will lead to the production of dampness as well. Um, of course, the best way to get rid of dampness would be to have regular exercise, so at least two or three times a week. And especially if you can sweat a little bit, that's, that's better even. Um, also, there are a couple of foods that can really help for dampness, which include lotus seeds, uh, gorgon fruits, there's also the mung bean and the adzuki beans. So all of these can be used in soup or porridge. Uh, because you may not know them very well, I put some descriptions and some links to more uh, information in the description of this video. I am Johan Berling, a clinician, lecturer and researcher in Chinese medicine. Please feel free to like this video if you did and subscribe to our channel for more videos on health, psychology and Chinese medicine.